and also you can take advantage of our 23 online churches wow 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 which are available in all the major languages of india and apart from that we have three special churches one is for teenagers called tufani and gyani teens one is for children online children church and apart from that we have a special program for deaf and dumb apart from that you can watch them in odia telugu tamil gujarati kannada tullu english hindi chhattisgadi rathuri bareli assamese marathi punjabi nepali konkani malayalam sindhi bhojpuri bengali and in malwani thank you god bless you Yes, you refresh 
my soul and my spirit. my soul, my spirit. Oh Lord, I yield myself. I yield myself to you. To you. This is where I want to be. In your presence, oh Lord. I lose myself. Soaring high like an eagle. In all things, you're in control, O oh Lord. You're in control. Raham Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome you all once again to our Sunday, Sunday special service from Christ Embassy, India. So this is the time for prayer. Wherever you are, you're watching us online, you're watching from a watching us from centers or you're watching from church wherever you are stand on your feet lift up your holy hands and let's pray speak in tongues rebu sahate ni brahma shakhe labanto ni manda lamanto kotra basa bande le me senta ni brasha tera bande razahate le bu sahate ri brahante lamanto kota ni brava shakhe rabande rizo de rabande ramando labasha trabante ri brahate praise his name give him glory Give thanks to the Lord. Li ba sha ta ra bun ra ba sa ke la ban te la mun ta ka ra ba han te re be she ra ba ha te a za han ta li ra han te ri zo ta li ra han te o ra ma sha ra ba han ta li bo sha te ra ban te ri ra han ta. Thank you, Jesus, for the entire week, O Lord. Li ma han ta la ba sa te le ra sa ke la ban te. We welcome you to this new entire week, O Lord. Le ma sha ta la ban ta in our lives, in our house, ri ba han te re bre ze ke la. Bunda libra hante, rasha traba hante, lamanto libra sha tera baka libra hante. Yes, Lord, we declare that everyone those are watching online, O oh Lord, libra sha ba hante, their ears, their hearts are open to receive your message, O oh Lord, libra sha traba hante, lamante ke ta libra hante, o ra hante le ma sha tra bunda libra sha ta la bande. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are still praying, and our today's first prayer point is: we are we are going to pray for our Sunday services and all our Sunday service centers. So we are going to see the book of Mika, chapter four, verse one to two, from KJV. But in the last days, it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. Hallelujah. And many nations shall come and say, "Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the God of Jacob." Hallelujah! And He will teach us of His ways, and we will walk in His path. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Thank God for our Sunday services taking place. Taking place. Pray also for the various Sunday service centers. We declare that testimonies, miracles, and healings will take place in all these locations in the name of Jesus, and many participate live in the service Sunday service. Let's pray. Speak in tongues. Ye ba sa ba han da la ma shokra ba ha te la ban te li ma za han da li bo shakre bo li ban da la mu sabra ha te la man te 
lama shutra bakira bahali bunda lama sakira bante lu zahata lamanda la bashakre bukira bante rama santa libra hate asetre ke la bando ribro shahate lama sakra bando li bahata isa hate rezende la mando li bashaka la bante rezende ramo subra hate la baka libra hante la mando kudra bahasa kada rabanda li shatara hante rezege rabonte la masa brahanto i ke rabahante le me shahante li brahato ki rabanda la masa brahate o zahante li bashate la baka hanto rabasa rabante le breheta i krabahante le me zendo li brahato la mashaka la brahata la mante rasahante la mante ke to ri brahata li shetra hanto ramante la masa khali trabaha o zahate rebente la manto ko trabaki la bashahate o sakhara bante re mesan de le buki rabaha li mashanta ri brahate le mento ko trabahata li brahate rasahanda li mashake rubunta ri brahate o sahante re brasa khala bante ori bahate la makala brahanta la bashutre beke rabante rama santa libra babahante ketro ke la manta li bashaka la bando razende ramando ko trabahante oh thank you jesus thank you lord we declare we, we declare that lord to the sunday services oh lord those who are watching through centers oh lord tremendous power is been provided lama shahate ri brahate ki rabando ri manda ri basha ke lavanda many lives are changing oh lord le me sabahanta li braha ki rabando ramanda testimonies are coming li ma shahate healing is being given oh lord lamando labata raba sabaha hi hi ha raha te re be sahte healing is taking place rama sabando li blahate usi krabande raba shatra bahanto li बेसे के लबा कला बूंद्र बासा मांदा ली मशान तेरे बेके रबूंदर रबा सहाते थैंक यू जीसस वी प्रे दिस प्रेयर इन द माइटी नेम ऑफ जीसस एंड मैन हालेलुया हालेलुया थैंक यू लॉर्ड हालेलुया एंड वी आर स्टिल प्रेइंग एंड आवर टुडे सेकंड प्रेयर पॉइंट इज वी आर प्रेइंग स्पेशली फॉर ऑल मेन इन योर सिटी एंड पीस प्रे स्पेशली फॉर ऑल मेन इन योर सिटी एंड पीस इन योर नेशन दिस मंथ वी आर गोइंग टू सी बुक ऑफ साम्स Chapter twenty nine, verse eleven. The Lord gives strength to His people. The Lord blesses His people with peace. Hallelujah. Pray especially for all men. Pray also for your city and nation. Declare a massive burst of salvation in every city, town, and village. Hallelujah. Declare an end to demonic manipulations that keep men resistant to the gospel. Pray also for your cells evangelistic plans this month. Declare massive outpouring of souls in your outreaches this month. The Lord reigns and the earth trembles. Hallelujah. Rabanta rabrasa te la bande speaking tongues. Yes. Riba shabraha te la mando. Libra kala bande la masa brahanta. Libo shakara bande. O sakra baha te la mande. Lima shatra hante. Rika raba la bande la masa shatra bande. Rabo zahate le sekra bande la mando. Liba shatra baha kira bande. Ribre seke la bande. La mando bunda rabande liba sakante. Risha kari brahaha. O zahante. Re brasa la bashi kro bunda la masa bande. Le me seke la bande. Libra hata la mando la masha kra bande. Re zende rama zibra baka la bando la basha kri ke la bande. Re me zenda libra hate la boke raba la banda libra manda la manche ke la bunde. Asi kra banda la busa hante le bende ke tra baka la banda li masha te ra bande. Re bre seke la bando la manda la masha kha libra hanta la mande re bre ke la basa hante ri sahante le me shanta la bande ki trabaha o sahate re bre ke lo samante ri mando lo shakla bahate ra bande re me se ke ra banda libra hate la masha kha libro hote ri bra hate ro saka la bra hante le me te la mando go ta libra hata li basha kha la bonte re bre 
lavando libra hate, asante geta lavando libra hate, ramando la mande geta libra hata, liba shahate, ora sate rabante, gira balabanda lavando muda libra hante, reme shekra bahata, isa hante, reboza la bahanta, lima shake de la bande, reme sante ramando muda libra hata, lama que rebande, rimando lo bosa mante, le pechata libra baja, usa hate rebrahante que está la mando, liba chate la mante, li caraba carabando libra santa, li mande le peche trabaja, kira bande ramaso trabaja, y más santa cata libra hate, le mesena libra calabonte, la manda aquí trabaja taramante, usa hate, thank you Jesus, oh Lord, la maza bakira brahanta la manda, li peche trabaja, la bande le mesane que trabaja, y moza bande le mente que está libra hanto, rabasha trabaja aquí la bande, thank you Jesus, oh Lord, thank you Lord, thank you God, thank you, thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you Holy Spirit, la maza braja de la mando, li basha te de vente, y manda cala maquira banda, li brosa te la mante, thank you Jesus, oh Lord, thank you Father, thank you Holy Spirit, Thank you, thank you. We pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is the time for praise and worship. So wherever you are, you can stand, lift up your holy hands and praise God. So we are going to welcome our choir team. Let's invite them. working in me. Ha. It's not by power, not by might, but by your spirit, oh Lord. Hey! Lord, your ability, your ability is at work in me. Lord, your ability, your ability is at work in me It's not by power nor by mind But by your spirit, O oh Lord It's not by power nor by mind But by your spirit, O oh Lord Say I can do all things I can do all things Through Christ who strengthens me Strengthens me. I can, I can, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ha. Lord, your ability, your ability is at work in me. Lord, your ability, ha, your ability is at work in me. It's not by power nor by might, but by your spirit, O oh Lord. It's not by power nor by might, but by your spirit, O oh Lord. See, I can do all things. I can do all things. Christ who strengthens me, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Say your neighbor that you can do all things ah. through Christ who strengthens you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We, all, we can do all things. 
Christ to strengthen us. We can do all things to Christ to strengthen us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Rhapsody of realities is that daily devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Today's reading by Pastor Chris Yakilome for Sunday, the 6th of June, 2021 is Divine Acquittal. Today's opening verse has been taken from Romans chapter 5, Verse 1 which says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says Jesus wasn't only delivered to death on account of your sins, he was also raised back to life for your justification. Praise the Lord. And this we study in Romans chapter 4, verse 25. What does it mean to be justified? The word translated justified means to be acquitted and declared righteous. It is to be declared not guilty, free of guilt. Therefore, in the mind of justice, there, there are no charges against you. The mystery of divine acquittal beats human imagination. Glory to God. How can a man be acquitted? In an onward and permanent way? How is that possible? In natural justice, you are only acquitted today from charges of past offenses. You cannot be acquitted from charges of future offenses. But it is not so with God. Your divine acquittal covers past, present and future offenses. There's a badge on you everywhere you go that says acquitted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read the theme verse again. It says in Romans chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith. What is faith? The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You don't apply faith for what's behind you, or what you already have with you. Therefore, being justified by faith means from this moment you've entered into the future with divine acquittal. Praise the Lord. It is a result of what Jesus did. Now you can further appreciate what he said in Colossians chapter 1, verses 21 to 22. And you, that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind, by wicked works, yet now hath be he reconciled to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Alleluia. You are holy, unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. This is the way God sees you. Why would anyone want to live in sin when they understand this truth? You are too holy, too righteous, too clean, and too pure. This is what God has given you as a gift. He declared himself to be righteous and granting you divine acquittal for believing in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 3 verse 26 says, To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it's time for prayer. So I invite all of you to please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands, and please pray after me. Dear Father, what a blessing it is to know that I've been divinely acquitted of all charges. I walk in the light 
of my justification and reign over sin, Satan and circumstances. My life is an expression of your righteousness. I am victorious all the way, serving you joyously, without fear or condemnation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now for further study, you can please reach Romans chapter 5 verses 20 to 21. And again, Romans chapter 5 verse 17. This verse from the Amplified Classic Translation. And also please study Acts chapter 13 verses 38 to 39. If you are following the one year Bible reading plan, today you can read John chapter 20 verses 1 to 18 and 1 Chronicles chapters 20 to 22. If you are following the two year Bible reading plan, today you can read Mark chapter 15 verses 15 to 24 and Deuteronomy chapter 4. Thank you so much and God bless you. When my son was born, I noticed that his eyes were, were not aligned properly. Um, he could not look at an object straight the way it is. So his eyeballs could shift towards the top part of the eye when he looked at an object or just a person. So I started looking for the doctors, maybe so that they can operate his eyes so that it can be normal. My name is Abigail Baloui, Emmanuel Smart. Emmanuel is seven years old. We are from Pretoria, South Africa. When my son was born, I noticed that his eyes were, were not aligned properly. Uh, we realized that, like, we, we, we have seen that while he was still young, when he was born. So another sister told us to go to the hospital to the nearest hospital so that they can operate his eyes so that he can be aligned properly. Emmanuel was born with misaligned eyes. Um, he could not look at an object straight the way it is. So his eyeballs could shift towards the top part of the eye when he looked at an object or just a person. And what you could see was this dominant white, white part. Um, this condition was never a problem to us for a while because he was born like that, we had accepted it, we were never worried about it. Until a time this year that we started noticing that other kids were actually teasing him, um, you know, starting to notice that his eyes were not actually normal as their eyes were. This worries me a lot, so I started looking for the doctors, maybe so that they can operate his eyes so that it can be normal because like I was so stressed feeling like how is he feeling at school because people were like when you are being bullied at school you're not being concentrating you will start thinking lot asking yourself a lot of questions about your life so I started looking for another for the doctor so that they can operate him but glory to god at the same time it was a time where the healing stream was announced the healing stream with pastor chris was announced and we decided to you know prepare ourselves get him registered get the whole family registered and we were expecting god to heal him so we were able to connect to the healing stream with pastor chris on the sunday you know we just started to intercede for him expecting god to heal him and even during the service we were just interceding like that so pastor chris has shown us a, a, a testimony of another child who was born his eyes were normally but then an accident happened to him and then his eyes changed and when we look at that child we said oh god we activated our faith and then we, we it the faith that that, that that child miracle has activated our faith. He had, it has given us more faith that God is really going to help to, to heal my son's eyes because as long as he, that child has received his healing, we are also going to receive the miracle. My son is also going to receive this healing in his eyes. And there was this particular time that Pastor Chris prayed for um, children 
and at that moment the atmosphere was just so amazing it was like god has had already held him and the holy spirit confirmed it in our spirits children look children are being healed right now children are being healed children are being healed begin thanking god for your child children are being healed right now i just saw it i just saw the angel of the lord the angel of the lord i just saw the angel of the lord he just spread out his hand and it was for children children are being healed all over the world right now receive a miracle for your son for your daughter something is happening right now Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, wow. On Wednesday, his eyes were aligned properly. His eyes were going the same. We thank God for the miracle that has happened in his life. I thank God. I would like to thank God because now my nephew is saved from all the bullying that he endured. His eyes are now perfectly in a normal position like every other child. Um, children don't have to look at him anymore and notice any difference. Um, he is just now a perfect child, just like every other child. And God has actually made him better. He, he is now very much confident to face anything. So I'm really grateful to, to God because of that. I would like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris, we really appreciate the work that you are doing. We thank God because you, you never said no to the work of God. Thank you very much for allowing God to use you. Thank you, Pastor Chris, for healing my eyes. I love you so much. We have the life of God which cannot be cut up very soon. Cannot be cut up very soon. Because church was not supposed to get sick ever. Church, the message of the message to the church is that they have divine life. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, not mine, but thine be done. Do you ask God that what you are doing, should you be doing it or not? Many don't have that consciousness. God wants you to live according to his will. Bible says those who are living, they should not live for themselves, but to him for, for, for who died for them and who has purchased them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for children. I speak health. I speak healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. I command that demon of darkness to leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those unclean spirits to come out of them in the name. Lord, 
God, you are great. You are great. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You alone are God. Jesus, you are a God. You alone are God. I think I will keep, I will keep, I will keep my mind stayed on you. I will keep my mind I will keep my mind stayed on you all I want to do all I want to do is to worship great, O oh Lord. You are great. For you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, you are great. You are great. You are great. For you are great and greatly to be Jesus, no other God but you, only you, you alone are God, my Savior, Jesus, you alone are God, oh hallelujah, oh Jesus, you alone are God, no other God. But you alone, O oh Rabba, the Holy One, the Living God, you alone, you alone, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, we honor you, we exalt you. Indeed, you deserve our worship. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for making us who we are. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your word. Our hearts are filled with praise in adoration to you, O Lord. We say our hearts and minds are open, O Lord, to hear and receive from you, O Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Can you welcome your neighbor with a kindly smile? It's so good to see you. And uh, I believe we are ready to receive what God has called us to receive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Chris started to talk about purpose and the mission of the church and we are going to talk about the same from today because the biggest tragedy of life is not that somebody doesn't have money or some things wrong have happened biggest tragedy of life a life lived without purpose 
a life without mission because when you don't know what is your mission when you don't know what is the purpose you cannot make right choices you cannot progress in the right direction you cannot behave as per your true potential praise the lord as when you don't know your purpose you cannot make right choices you cannot go into the right direction and you can never justify your true potential but this is not the way society thinks for society living life is more important than knowing the life's purpose itself praise the lord <laughs> and the way we studied books curriculum they never pointed towards that life should have a purpose it was always communicated oh live the life as it comes but life has to have a design we can't take life as it comes that will be catastrophe so we don't take life as it comes we design our life praise the lord and we decide what we want to come and what should not come when you make a house why do you want to live in house why not on street have you ever thought on it for the very same purpose because you want to decide who can come into your life and who cannot who can peek into your life who cannot that's a decision you took that's why you loved your house you didn't want everybody to know what's happening with you you didn't want everybody to enter into your life you wanted to have a control that who comes and who knows about your life it was classified praise the lord <laughs> but i'm talking like this because right now they are changing the semantics they're saying if you have nothing to hide why do you don't you want to expose your life no 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 you're getting it all together wrong don't deceive us with the semantics we are we didn't go to school for nothing we went to school for something don't try to play with semantics that if you have nothing to hide show everything why should i show the very reason i took a house is contrary to the purpose you are telling me today why do i wear clothes because i don't want everybody to see me am i right i decide who sees what part of my body not everybody has a right to see me praise the lord so sir this is the way we grew up so they can't come up and tell us today if you have nothing to hide please open everything i can't do that that's against my nature and that's why they will fail because they are telling something which is totally against our nature praise the lord am i right i hope i'm making sense so i'm making that point that life has to have a design life has to have a purpose and since church is made by god church also has a mission and purpose praise the lord <laughs> because god does not make anything without mission and without purpose and if church understands his mission and purpose church will be effective in fulfilling that purpose church will be making the right choices praise the lord hallelujah once you know the purpose you can live a fulfilled life look at it once you were 12 year old and you decided to go to school and because you were going to school you wore uniform isn't it you were not wearing jeans and t-shirt unless until that was the 
uniform of that particular day that's why i use 12 generally jeans and t-shirt is not the part of the uniform no matter which school you go to i i hope i'm making sense so and then you took a bag you did not pick newspaper <laughs> because you knew where you were going you were going to the school you knew in a school you are going to study books so because you knew your mission because you knew your purpose is directed your choices i hope you are getting me it directed your choices if you wouldn't have known suppose at in the, at that day a school had a sports day <laughs> and you show up with all your bag people will be laughing at you because you perhaps you forgot that that particular day is a sports day of the or annual function in annual function you you show up with uniform praise the lord you know because who wears uniform in annual function at least at that day you wear something else so what i'm trying to point out that mission and purpose is so important it's so important there are three kind of people in this world one who can work the other kind they who know how to work and third are the pe- kind of people why work should be done i will repeat first is what they know they know how to work you know they know they know they, they know they, they know how to do the work you understand second know how to teach the work and third is what they know the why they know the why of the work why that work has to be done and the person who knows why will always be boss of the person who knows who and how praise the lord am i right so once we know mission and purpose you become owner praise the lord <laughs> it automatically elevates you it promotes you it promotes you because now you have known your mission and your you become a master in life praise the lord why so many are victim of life because they don't know the mission and the purpose why churches are closed and reporting against churches because perhaps those, those churches don't even know what the church stands for how a church can be afraid of the virus praise the lord <laughs> how church can promote mask because perhaps they never 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 a church they never knew what does it mean to have jesus inside praise the lord <laughs> they never read their bible those miracles mean nothing to them they are dead how can you read your bible jesus touched untouchables didn't he heal lepers what are you telling me that this virus is bigger than the virus of the leprosy Jesus healed all manner of sickness all manner bible says all manner read your bible properly diverse manner all manners bible says all manners of sick people were brought to him all manners so whatever the sickness you can think they were there praise the lord and bible says jesus healed them all praise the lord so perhaps they don't know what the mission or the purpose of the perhaps they don't know who church is they don't know who church is but once you understand who church is you are able to get more out of the church praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. remember you are a church <laughs> i'm starting the first point this is huge remember first thing you are a church if you understand it it will change your whole life i will explain so first point is you are a church then we talk about the mission and the purpose of the church first let's understand what church is <laughs> you are a church why it is so huge So when you are when you get up on Sunday morning 
and you know that you are a church and you are a church for 24/7 praise the lord hallelujah you don't only operate on sunday for 2 hours <laughs> or in some denomination 45 minutes and they go in the last 15 minutes do their rosary and leave because they don't know church but due respect to them because church oh boy church is the most sublime creation of god on the face of the earth church is the most powerful entity more powerful than any political social entity ever exists in this world praise the lord and that's why governments of their day always fear church they do all in their might to silence the church because they know till you have conquered the church you have not really conquered and the good news is they have never succeeded praise the lord bible says light shines in the darkness and darkness could not overpower it darkness has been trying to overpower light since ages but darkness has come to know its limitation that darkness can only stand at the periphery of light darkness cannot enter light praise the lord <laughs> darkness does not have the power to penetrate light i hope you are making you understand darkness has known its limitation if there is a light then darkness can only be standing what till the last ray of light have you ever seen darkness enters light <laughs> light has the power to enter darkness but darkness does not have power to enter light so they have been trying and all their efforts have been futile praise the lord hallelujah is important to know that but once you know what church is and once you know who are you you are a church so on a sunday this is not a meeting of a church this is a meeting of churches praise the lord yeah <laughs> is a meeting of churches and how does it regulate your thinking now you as a church came to church and you saw how the church function church prays so you pray every day praise the lord <laughs> you can't say i don't have the time to pray you came to church you saw church worshiping you know as a church you should worship every day it does not remain a struggle to you because you know you are a church church is supposed to pray every day and when you came and you saw church praying church was not praying god give me job bless my daughter <laughs> bless my son in jesus name plus minus devil some people pray the shortest prayer so somebody prayed plus god minus devil amen so you know church does not pray those kind of prayer you came to church you saw the prayers let darkness not prevail in india in the name of jesus pray that's what we pray am i those that's what we pray so you know what to pray how to pray you're not praying yourself i have never prayed for me trust me i won't lie to you in my whole life if i lift my hand to pray for myself i feel so guilty i say what what should i pray for then i think i said lord i'm wasting my time <laughs> what what should i be praying for the lord give me money don't 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 i know the whole world is mine lord bless me don't i know god has blessed me with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places what what should i pray for I I'm, I'm telling you I've never prayed for me and I've never asked my pastor to pray for me these two things I could never do from day one it to surprise you he said no pastor perhaps never it happened but the very first day I understood who I am praise the lord <laughs> you can ask my you can you can go and ask my history my history is only filled with exploits until today I'm doing exploits praise the lord because I understood who I am 
I have been telling people I will be running India because I know as a church I am bigger than India. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so I don't need others to join me. I, as an entity, is bigger than the every power in India. It's good for you if all join. But I'm never thinking if you don't join me, I can't do that. That is not my meditation. Because I'm a church, and church is bigger than any government. any political organization any social organization that's who church is church is not asking blessing church is blessing praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. do you understand once you understand you are a church your troubles will be finished you say how what is the relationship you will ask what is the relationship i said it i will say it again i said once you understand you are a church all your troubles will finish I say wow pastor it won't be nice because you will understand okay when you came to church first why did you come to solve your troubles am i right so you know church does not have trouble church solves trouble praise the lord <laughs> so you cannot have trouble <laughs> so when the trouble starts to show up he say do you know who i am i solve trouble praise the lord I cannot get troubled praise the lord because I am a church Jesus was solving problem Am I right Jesus didn't have a problem talk to me Did Jesus have a problem Any problem you have read about Jesus Jesus had one problem And he prayed to God help me lord <laughs> Never Jesus only praying for others That's what we saw from the day one Whenever his life was open, we saw Jesus solving problem, not asking question to God. God, please explain why my life is going this direction. Jesus has nothing stupid like that. No trouble, <laughs> because he knew the mission and the purpose. He said, "I have come to do Thy will, O Lord." It is written in the volume of books. Praise the Lord. he stated his mission and purpose remember at the age of 12 when he was left in the temple and the parents went ahead three days journey then they came back and they saw him arguing with the doctors of the law and they said son why did you trouble us he said don't you know woman not mother he said woman don't you know i'm supposed to be about my father's business what do you think i'm doing at the age of 12 Jesus knew better than the doctors of the law not asking questions solving questions praise the lord if we have received the same jesus our life our life should not be different praise the lord hallelujah do you understand so once you understand who you are praise the lord hallelujah are you with me are you with me so purpose and the mission if you know who you are what god has made you if you know you will never have a blue day you never have a sad day every day will be a day of victory praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord okay let's read mark 10 was 26 start from there we enter from here and we reach somewhere Mark 10 was 26 <laughs> You know this story that this young man came running after Jesus he said oh lord good lord what can i do to inherit eternal life and Jesus said why are you why are you calling me good and i explained in the leaders meeting am i right that what that good means if you don't read your bible slowly everything will be it will not make sense So but when you read the bible with the right purpose you will get a lot and it is looking so simple isn't it don't worry it has too much <laughs> now what is there don't worry i will show you what is there so the story goes this young man came kneel down and say oh what can i do to eternal life jesus told him what to do to do follow the law he said i follow the law then jesus said go and sell everything you have and come and follow me and bible says the man became very sad because he had much possession 
and then Jesus made a startling statement. He said, "It is easy for the camel to pass through the eye of the needle, than to for a rich man to enter the heaven." So some people say, oh, "I'm is good. I'm poor." I say, "How poverty can be good?" <laughs> When people hear that scripture, they celebrate their poverty. The poverty they should be ashamed of their celebrity. Yeah, it's good. I'm poor. Poor. I will go heaven. I say, ah, you will never go heaven. He said, Pastor, how do you know? Because you are rejecting God's prosperity itself. You are saying poverty is from God. Ha! Huh? You don't believe God. You are an atheist, aren't you? <laughs> I'm the person. How can you say rich God has a poor children? Rich God who lives in a heaven of gold and blah 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 blah, who owns the whole earth, he has poor children. You must be stupid in your mind. So when people read that scripture, I remember I was in, I was among some Christians. I was teaching them the Bible, and they were reading. So I said, "What did you understand from this?" He said, "Thank God, I'm poor." I said, "What?" I said, "Okay." He said, "I want to help you today." So he said, "Give me more, your all money. You will be more poor or more blessed." <laughs> and he said, "Every day you earn. I'm giving you your account. Keep sending me money. Keep getting the blessing. Is it not good? But I know by giving me, he will not remain poor. <laughs> he will still become rich. So I laughed at it. Hallelujah. So, so now here we come." and disciples were astonished out of measure they were startled because jesus said this statement that it is easy for the camel to pass through the eye of the needle i know you are not watching that needle am i right that needle with the thread god bless you then it was a gate it was the evening time and they like, you know in old old olden days there used to be a big gate which used to close by 5 or 6 whatever the time is and then they leave the small gate to pass by and so when the merchants used to come back and generally they were in in desert so these camels have to bow down and pass through that small gate and that gate used to be called the needle of the gate so jesus was standing at the city at the city gate at that time you can read from other gospels and you will know the exact uh, place jesus was standing and talking with the disciples jesus is very smart he always used the examples nearby so at, at, if you read the bible um, from mark matthew the same story you will get more details and you will come to know do the research you will love the bible bible has beautiful research more than dna research praise the lord <laughs> so once you love then you will know why jesus made that more jesus was standing at the gate city gate and it was almost 5 to 6 so he wanted to explain what they are asking so he also okay, let me take that example he said okay see that camel <laughs> it is easy for the camel to pass through the eye of the needle then for pass for a rich man to pass through the heaven heaven praise the lord and these guys were astonished why because these guys were rich praise the lord <laughs> they were not poor people so now these guys are taking a seat back he said did you hear him What will happen to us, boy? We have left everything. We thought we will enter heaven. This boy, this man is saying, "If you are rich, you will not enter heaven." <laughs> so they were startled. Otherwise, why they would have been astonished? If they were poor, they were saying, "Thank God, I am poor." But they were astonished because they were rich people. Praise the Lord. Let's see it further. and jesus looking upon them said with man it is impossible but not with god for with god all things are possible oh boy if you read this scripture out of the context yes out of the context also is beautiful but when you read this scripture with the context it is big hi ya ya it is so huge reply of jesus is huge i can preach on this scripture for eternity This reply is so huge. You don't know what Jesus meant from this scripture, ha! Ah. Because what Jesus was telling them that the love of money will take you to hell. But Jesus not was Jesus was answering himself, not to them, 
Remember what Jesus said. So Jesus uh, was not answering them according to their own understanding. He is answering himself that what did he actually mean from when he said that it is harder for a you know rich man to go through heaven. He was answering the same question. Because he was trying to tell them oh boy that if you think like men your love, of, love for money will ever be there. But if you think like God your love for money will disappear. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it, it is, I'm just starting with this scripture. It has so many shades. It has so many shades. Because if you think like men, it is not possible. Your love will always be for money. You will always regard money more than me. So they were saying, who will be saved? He was telling them that it will take, oh Jesus, you are so beautiful. He said, still, it will be me. <laughs> <laughs> he said don't worry brethren it will be me who will be doing something for you praise the Lord <laughs> and you guys will be saved you remember James and his brother they came to Jesus he said eh, allow us to sit one on your right one on your left Jesus said do you know what you are asking for can you drink the cup I can drink and these guys in the innocence not knowing what they are talking <laughs> when I read the Bible I said I love you for your innocence. But <laughs> Jesus loves you more. So when Jesus said, can you drink the cup? And they in their excitement like Peter, you know. Eh, I will give my life for you. Jesus said, you, you will deny me thrice. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I mean, this, this scripture is huge. It's huge. Oh boy. I, I don't know when I will land on this. So... <laughs> So they said, can we sit on right, one on left? I said, can you drink the cup? Yes, sir. He said, okay, you will do it. You will? But Jesus knew what he's going to do so that they will be able to do it. Jesus knew it will be him who will be doing something which will be eventually credited to their account as if they did it. Praise the Lord. Oh, you understand the scripture? I don't know, I'm just starting. He said, with men, because the question was, they asked, who shall then be saved? He said, you are looking from your men thinking, if you, you know, to be saved, it is impossible. But with God, it is possible. I will do something for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I believe Jesus must be laughing when James and he said, my boys, let me not play with your faith. Let me leave with your faith. Since you are saying you can do it, you can do it. It's very important to know that. So when somebody tells you, pray for me. If you pray for me, I will be healed. Pray. Don't break their faith. Don't tell them how big the problem is. Sometimes people make that mistake. So understand what Jesus did here. I'm telling you this Bible is so beautiful. Sometimes I read Bible, I say, why day can't be 24, 48 hours? I look like everything else I am doing. Why I have to get up from my seat and go and do something? To come and preach, I think, why should I come and preach? Because to explain this, what I am explaining, it taken me one hour. But it took me two minutes to understand what I am explaining to you in one hour. It doesn't take more than two minutes to understand what I am just teaching you for one hour. I can just go through and I say, boy, boy, and I will be weeping, sobbing. I say, Lord Jesus, you are so big. And I will be connecting scripture, this, this, this. My mind has, has webbed these scriptures in my heart. And I have understood, I have landed. In my spirit, I have landed. With you, I am still walking. <laughs> so when I have to preach, I say, Lord, what I have to do now? How do I explain to them? <laughs> so sir, it's an interruption in my day. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Preaching is an interruption in my day. So I have to take the break from the my normal life, come out of my normal life and talk to you. <laughs> because that's my ministry as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Can you getting it some? Can you getting some beautiful things? It will get more beautiful. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. Oh. Ooh. 
Lord. Jesus looking upon them said, okay, Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. Colossians. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Giving thanks unto the Father. Giving thanks unto the Father. Which actually should be who? Am I right? Which should not be used for, for, for living being. But that's English sometimes. Giving thanks unto the Father who has made us. Who has made us. Made to be partakers. Who has made us. And once you read from correct word. When he said made us. He's talking about who enabled us. The right construction is who enabled us. You understand? But that is King James English. So once you don't know King James English, you don't know what he's talking about. So you are thinking, because if you read in with your English sense, this line will not make sense. Am I right? Who made us meet to be the partaker? So made us has to be what? Enabled. Am I, I, I hope I'm getting me. Otherwise, if you take made us on its merit, sentence has no meaning. I hope I'm, I'm talking with some, some English people here. Praise the Lord. So if you take made us on its merit, it doesn't have any sense. So made us has to be what? Who enabled us? Who enabled us? Who enabled us? God. Who? God enabled us. And that's what we just read. With man, it is impossible. With God, it is possible. God gave us the ability. So, giving thanks unto the Father who has enabled us. Who has enabled us. Say, say God will enable me. What? God has already, is important. Because many are asking, God give me ability. So which ability you asking, which he has not already given? Understand, what has happened to you. He has made you able. Praise the Lord. He has made you able. So no matter what is thrown at you, what do you say first thing? I'm able. Praise the Lord. I can do it. Praise the Lord. That's your, that's your natural, that should be your natural response. I can do it. I can do it. Because you are, you are not looking at your abilities like somebody's two legs have been amputated. Obviously he will cry in the beginning. Oh, where are my legs? Where are my legs? Obviously, he will be given the wheelchair. Am I right? Then he will become used to the wheelchair. And after six months, I don't think he will be still crying, where are my legs? He will get up one beautiful morning and he wants to stroll outside. He will just call his wheelchair, sit down, enjoy. Am I right? He's no longer a crying baby. Because he knows that now, though his legs are not there, but wheelchairs can help him to do whatever he can, he wants to do. So when something is thrown at you, you stop looking at your ability and you start walking with the ability of God, God has given to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not a crying baby. Do I? Can I do it? Do I? Do I? No, 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 no. You have trained your senses. That wheelchair has changed the mind of that amputated person. So this thinking has changed your mind altogether. You have stopped looking at your ability. You have learned to live by the ability of God. Whom enabled you. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Do you understand? That's the way I reason. So when you tell me the biggest of the thing. I know all I have to do is enter the chair. I only have to take advantage. What God has made available to me. It's just a switch over. <laughs> and if I'm smart enough. I can sit in that chair 24-7. Praise the Lord. Before you say it, I have done it. <laughs> you are thinking how to do it and I have done it. Because my mind has been programmed to work and think with the ability of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So scriptures are not more, more, not only religious cliche for me. 
this is my life this is the way i reason praise the lord i think when pastor sent me to india i was not a crying baby i am away from the church i say i come to start a church a church will start a church praise the lord <laughs> that's who you are you you are looking at the ability god has given to you your mind is focused you failed in exam means nothing to you economy is bad means nothing to you you have your own world which you never come out from you live in your own environment is like you are so used to ac all the time AC at home, AC at work, AC at church, you know. And now you have to go into the sun. Oh boy, it's work. I'm all right. You prefer to stay inside. Why you want to go outside and struggle when you can do everything in the comfort? So why should you take the pain of stepping out when you can achieve what you want to achieve? I'm all right. So once you understand, you want to remain there. Bible says if any man be in Christ he is a new creature so you know what has happened to you go to the next verse who has delivered us oh boy who has delivered us from the power of da- ah. the scripture is big is big so who has delivered us from the power of darkness ah this is the love story this scripture is the love story i will show you the love story <laughs> and if you can understand this love story you will be in love with jesus praise the lord <laughs> aha i don't have many people to explain with the example so he said but i have to bring people am i right so kevin adit please come help me and who is the third one we vikas can come <laughs> so <laughs> is love story praise the lord the blockbuster love story <laughs> who has delivered us praise the lord you remember jesus was not in heaven as jesus Don't think there was a little boy whose name was Jesus who was running around and angels were oh, hello Jesus hi Michael and nothing was happening Jesus was never there am I right Jesus was always in the bosom of the father am I right they were inseparable they were in love and their love goes back to eternity <laughs> we don't know for how many trillions of years they were in love Bible says in the beginning. We don't know how long that beginning is. I was in the beginning. What? What was? What was with God? Praise the Lord. Am I right? In the beginning. So we don't know their love now. And they were so intermingled with each other. And Jesus, when came on earth, he spoke about that love story several. He said, "I'm in my Father. My Father is." Uh, he, you know, that love meant so much to him. and he always made mentions to he said i don't do anything i do the works of the father who works in me you remember so it was a love story all for him but then somebody else came in the love story you and i these two people loved us and we entered the picture but we had a trouble we who had delivered us so this object of god's love was with the darkness <laughs> who has delivered us from the power of that and that power is is different one is like somebody has done the black magic on you you understand that kind of power is like you have your first wife and you have your second wife and this second wife looks so beautiful The first one is cooking good good food. This one giving you nothing. You love. When this wife asks, "Give me the school fees for the children," you are asking, "Why did you produce the children?" <laughs> As if she did it alone. 
But this one, ask anything. Oh my sweetheart, anything for you. You know? So, <laughs> Bible says, once we were dark, we were darkness, not we, we, we were in darkness. Bible says, we were darkness. Read the Bible. Not we were in darkness. We were darkness. We were so stupid. But these two people were in love with us. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Their love for us never ceased. And then something happened. So who has delivered us? What? So this was, this is the darkness we can take. That's why I took the Kevin. And so who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. But this thing took a lot of price. Come say now. I will show you. This was not easy. This was not easy. A heavy price has to be paid for it. Because this person didn't know these two people who loved him. This person loved this thing. This person was himself what? Darkness. Bible says you were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. Away from God. Read Romans. Am I right? This person had no clue that he was in his way to destruction and he loved this destruction. He loved the world. He loved the things of the world. He enjoyed them. So cherished them. Somebody who invited you for the church for the first time, you almost wanted to kill that person. <laughs> the church? You want to change my religion? You know, you were so angry. You remember that day? Do you remember? And when you came to church, we said, give 100 rupees, you were more angry. He said, now they, they, they not only called me church, they want to eat my money. You and that hundred rupees was big for you. You left the church, went to McDonald's, spent one thousand, and you were so happy. <laughs> Can you see the the problem of this man? <laughs> this man was in too much in problem, but somebody was in love, mad in love. So something has to be done. So something happened on the cross. Oh boy. What a dark day of the history. And what a display of God's love. I have lived that moment several times and I have cried several times. I have not got enough of that still today. As I'm talking to you, my eyes are teary. And I preach, I'm preaching this message for the third time. Since yesterday only. But when I look at it and I said, what? How? I'm still trying to contemplate his love for me. And I don't think I can ever understand because Bible says his love is beyond understanding. But my understanding keep getting better. But I don't think it will ever be achieved this on this part of the heaven. I will ever be able to comprehend his love. But I'm trying. Is something happened on the cross. Something happened on the cross. And Jesus knew what is going to happen. Which was the most painful part. Part. Jesus knew on the cross sins of the whole world will be laid on him. And Jesus knew father. The father is so holy that he cannot look at the sin. And he knew what is going to happen at that day. First time their love story will be broken because of this love. That will be the first time this father and son will be separated. And Jesus didn't know how to react. But Jesus knew this is what father want. That's why he was praying those kind of prayers. It was too heavy. Sins of the world was not the problem. <laughs> problem was the separation from the father. That's when you understand John 3.16. God so loved. Oh, I said, God, how much you love me. To save me, you broke your own love fellowship. Oh, I can hardly take it. That's why that song, that thinking, God not sparing his son 
and send him to die when i go to that phase i don't think i have ever cried less than 30 minutes because i understand what the singer is saying i identify with his thoughts he say you know i scarcely can take it in have you heard that song that my hope is built on nothing else but jesus blood and his righteous it's a hymn beautiful hymn is when i think god is not sparing his son and send him to die i scarcely can take it in hallelujah go and search that him so something happened on the cross now this fellowship this love story has to take a pause for the new love story praise the lord he has to bring us in but for us to bring us in he has to come out of the father oh lord what kind of love is this to bring us in he left his own place then people tell me how you can do everything for the lord i say because i know what he did for me it's so clear to me you can't tell me something is big for me If I die serving him, is worth why? Is worth why? Because he left that fellowship of billions of trillions of years. He has to come out. It was hard. So what's happening? This love story is going on. So Jesus had to come out. But God is so holy; He can't look at sin. can look at him so jesus was separated from the father price was paid not only the blood of his dear son but the more painful was the separation from the father to start a new relationship this first one took a pause so that we can come in and this fellowship can be complete and that's why he said let's go to verse 13 12 giving thanks unto the father praise the lord that's what you do how will you ask this person who has given everything for you that's when i think of asking i only end up thanking he <laughs> said giving thanks is a continuous process am i right You don't give thanks once and stop. This is your continuous life. You can only count your blessings, and you are so happy. Praise the Lord! You are not thinking of the troubles which are still remain unsolved. Because some Christians' life are still, oh, Pastor, thank you, uh, thank you. This problem was solved, but this is remaining. I say, what kind of life is that? How do you manage to enter that kind of a life? where something is always missing that's what some people think that always something is missing something or other is missing they still love the world that's why they can't see their completeness in Christ praise the lord they don't know where they have been brought into hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you able giving thanks unto the Father who has made me able? Who has made me able? Who has enabled me? Who has enabled me to be partaker of oh yeah 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 yeah. Partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. I by my own strength wouldn't have got the whole world. but jesus through his sacrifice on the cross made me able that i become the owner of the whole world praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah when you understand that no target is too big nothing is too big if we say bring 10 lakh tomorrow you say pastor can i bring 11 you're not thinking nobody is anybody is trying to take anything from you because you, you your eyes are there you're looking at that picture what happened on cross for your sake what a large place you have been brought into 
If you were praying, oh Lord, where you have brought us? That's how generally my prayers end. I can't pray without tears. I don't know how to do that. So when some some people are praying, no tears are coming. I say, are you really praying? How are you achieving that miracle? Teach me. Because, uh, not teach me. Explain to me. I don't want to learn. I said, oh, no tear came. Your eyes were so dry, and you prayed for thirty minutes. I said, before I lift my hand, my eyes have already, you know, wet. I don't know how to do. How did you manage to keep your eyes dry? How did you pray for thirty minutes and nothing happened to you? Sometimes feel like my body is changing its color. My cells are changing within. I say I'm talking to you. I can feel that change. The new cells are being generated. My age is. If you check my age, my bone density, you would be surprised. I might look come out to be sixteen. And if I keep preaching like this tomorrow, my bone can show you I'm twelve. Praise the Lord. Oh, this is too much. It's too much. God made me able. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God made me able. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and thank Him. Bro, shatila alhante. Alintro lo shatila alanti. Lindra ga daro lo roshato lo antra le zati talabade. Antra. Oh Lord, 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 worship you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me so much. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever grateful. Forever, for loving me so much. Thank you, thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're watching our program for the first time and you are yet to leave that darkness and come into the light, this is your opportunity. Be a part of the love story. God has started with you. Don't miss this time. receive jesus into your life today all you have to do pray with me close your eyes where you are and mean it from your heart and say it from your mouth repeat after me so dear lord god i believe i believe that jesus died on the cross to save me and on the third day jesus was raised from dead by god to save me and is alive forever more today i invite jesus son of the living god to come into my heart to be my lord to be my savior thank you father thank you from today jesus is my lord and jesus is my savior thank you father i'm born again thank you for saving me thank you for bringing me into the kingdom of your dear son thank you for enabling me thank you for loving me and i say by faith i receive eternal life into my spirit thank you and in jesus name we pray amen praise the lord our details on the screen do let us know that you gave your life to christ will be very happy to pray with you and let me pray with the father in the name of jesus i pray for your children who have given their life to christ i bless them by your grace by your word by your understanding and by your spirit they will remain in jesus name amen hallelujah please do let us know um we'll be happy to pray with you praise the lord this is the time to give our tithes our offerings our seed our partnership i'm going to invite the choir who will help us Thank you God bless you. Hey, hallelujah. Ha ha. Hallelujah. I flourish every day. Ha ha. Hallelujah. I know who I am. Hallelujah. 
I flourish every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ha. I know who I am. Look to and grow. Significant attainment. Persistent productivity. Luxuriant growth. Aha. Hey, hey. Significant attainment. Persistent productivity. This is my life. This is my life. For I'm planted in the house of the Lord. This is my life. This is my life. For I'm planted in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I flourish every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know who I am. Hallelujah. I flourish every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know who I am. I know who I am. Ha, 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 ha. It's my identity. The Lord anointed me. For I'm flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. I'm planted by the stream. My leaves are evergreen. For I'm flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. It's my identity. Hallelujah. The Lord anointed me. Hey, hey. For I'm flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. I'm planted by the stream. My leaves are evergreen. Ha ha ha! I am flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. I am flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. We are flourishing, 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 flourishing all the way. Hallelujah! We are flourishing every way. Every area of our life, we are flourishing. Shout glory! Glory! Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Worship you. Thank you for the opportunity to bring our tithes and offerings as we have given. We receive the multiplied harvest of it, O Lord. For every seed sown, we invoke these offerings with the law of multiplication for the furtherance of the gospel. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are a few important announcements. First of them is on 11th and 12th of June, we have a musical concert called Masi Umma. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then center expansion, we said we have churches, online churches. It's a huge, huge investment. And I want to say thank you. So thank you very much for all the hard work. But now as members, we have to use what they have been doing. We have to put it to work and encourage everybody to use them. Make a center in different languages. You don't know what God can do. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up on our feet. Thank God. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit.
be with us now and forevermore in Jesus name amen surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever in Jesus name amen thank you very much god bless you cheer up the world works thank you Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.